Thank you for choosing the SNL podcast. I'm your host, just some guy named Jay. And uh, you know, in this one, what I'm going to be doing in the podcast is I'm going to, I'm going to be talking about the upcoming guest, uh, host and musical guest on Saturday Night Live. I also want to say, pardon my voice. I've just gotten over the flu, and uh, <clears throat> you know, my my voice is a little uh, nasty right now. But uh, just bear, bear with me, though. Um, I, I, got, I, I have to do these podcasts. I don't care. You know, if my voice is messed up or not, I'm just going to still do what I have to do. Um, before I even get into that, I want to give a shout-out. I want to give a shout-out to one of the largest email blast distribution lists on the web today, The Giant Blast, uh, with over 100,000 email accounts subscribed. Not only is it a large email blast newsletter for entertainment, uh... You know, they also do marketing and promotions for uh, indie bands and singers and rappers. So uh, if you guys have got some hot music out and you want to get it out, definitely hook up with the Giant Blast. And they can definitely, uh, you know, sh tighten up your fan base and get your music out to the right people. And, you know, and definitely get you guys more hits uh, for your music. So definitely, definitely uh, get at them. The email address is T-H-E, that's the Giant, G-I-A-N-T. And blast B L A S T the giant blast at AOL dot com. I want to put the information in the info in the info box in the info excuse me in the information box below. And uh also too uh you know if you if you're trying to get a larger larger audience and also um not just for uh, for for any bands and singers and rappers and things like that, but uh, if you guys provide if anybody provides a service or if you have some kind of product that you'd like to sell, uh, getting it out with an email blast would definitely help and uh, create awareness for your product or service. So definitely check them out. All right. Now going into the uh, the podcast itself um, on, uh, what's the date? January 26th, uh, the host will be Adam Levine and the musical guest Kendrick Lamar. You know, <clears throat> I'm surprised Kendrick Lamar is uh, is going to be the musical guest. Because uh, it doesn't seem like, uh, well, I, I guess Kendrick Lamar does have a good little heat on him, you know, as a rapper. Because it seems like SNL, they kind of wait till the rappers, you know, until they become like A-list household names before they even become musical guests. Whereas if they do other genres of music, you know, they'll they'll just, you know, if they're indie or if they're on the come up, it seems like they'll let them do it. I, I, I mean, I guess this is how they do things. But, um... You know, um, you're not wanting to, you know, not say what I really want to say, <laughs> but, uh, but Adam Levine is hosting. You know what? If this was, if he, if they would have said he was hosting like maybe last season or the beginning of this season before Bruno Mars did his thing, I probably, would, or actually if Adam Levine hosted in Bruno Mars place, I probably would have said, oh my God, Adam Levine. What? I mean, yeah, he appeared in a few skits, but he's not all that. He's not going to be funny, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? I, 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 hey, hey, every time somebody's a musical guest or they're known for doing music and they're hosting, I'm automatically going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I mean, I, I don't say benefit of the doubt. I'm actually, I'm actually looking forward to seeing music people host after Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars is the, I mean, not saying that he holds the weight of every artist, but, uh, I mean, have you guys noticed that it's just that musical guests or, or people who are mostly primarily singers? end up doing very well when they host SNL from Justin Timberlake to pretty much all of them. I mean, if you think about it, there's not too many. I mean, I mean, actually somebody that's a musical guest that's also a host, you know, it's, it, they're actually in the minority if they actually do bad, you know, all pretty much all of them do. They do very good. Now athletes, those are wild cards, politicians, you know, they don't normally do too well. Um, but it seems like, musical music musicians singers rappers uh, uh uh whatever they do if they just play the guitar or something like that it seems like they always knock it out the park <clears throat> and you know why i think that's why is because they do a lot of live music on stage and i know they probably improvise when something messes up and you know they always have to rehearse the routines so i guess like them being on stage also automatically gives them that kind of you know they you know they they you know give them that experience even though they're not you know, maybe a lot of them aren't actors themselves or comedians themselves, but um, <clears throat> you know, um, you know, just them doing live shows all the time always, you know, prepares them for things like SNL. That's what I'm thinking because it's, it's like it's it's like it's 
it's like wow like 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 consistently every you know consistently every artist seems to do very well you know um so i i you know, i'm expecting adam levine to do good you know and um you know i know they're just hosting he's hosting pretty much because i think tina fey dropped out at the you know at the last minute um, because, you know, to, to promote, uh, 30 Rocks, uh, finale, um, but, you know, she just finished, uh, hosting the Golden Globe, so I know she wanted to rest from that, you know, maybe, you know, possibly, and, um, Adam Levine, too, uh, what was I about to say about Adam Levine, yeah, 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 I think, you know, they're, they're doing this, too, because, uh, the voice is pretty hot right now, so, uh, so I guess that's another reason why they're doing this, and, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to Adam Levine doing his thing. Um, also, too, on February uh, 9th, I was about to say 8th, February 9th, Justin Bieber will be the host and musical guest. And uh, I, I think he's going to do well, too, <laughs> just, just, for, just for being a singer. I think he's going to do, I, I feel he's going to do well. I think I think the Adam Levine and the Justin Bieber episodes are going to be uh, are gonna be great. You know, I know a lot of people are moaning at the fact that Justin Bieber is a, uh, is, is 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 hosting you know a lot of people are, oh i'm tired of bieber i'm tired of this but i mean you know hey i'm i'm you know i don't you, i'm the kind of person that uh you know i snl one thing i like about snl is they they talk about things that are current and relevant you know they pick at what's going on in pop culture and not but or in politics stuff that's happening today you know and justin bieber is something that's happening today he's very popular you know um you know, they maybe they maybe make some fun of of, of the weed smoking stuff. Uh, you know, I mean, hey, I say why not? I mean, you know what? If Kim Kardashian hosted, I wouldn't even moan at that either. You know, I I I, I don't think the hosts make or break the show. Well, they kind of do, but uh, you know what? I I, I pick at relevant stuff, man. That's how I say. You know, it, you know. And Justin Bieber is very relevant right now. You know, um. So, yeah, definitely check those shows out, and I'm going to definitely review them. Uh, January 26th, Adam Levine and Kendrick Lamar, and uh, February 9th, Justin Bieber. Check them out. And, again, I want to say, uh, want to give a shout-out to the Giant Blast. Check them out. You know, um, if you need something blasted out or something promoted, you definitely got need to email those those guys. Uh, you know, I got the information in the info box below. Um, and that's all I'd like to say. I'm just some guy named Jay. Good night and have a pleasant tomorrow.